Hey, Kool Aid. Uh, obviously, LSU's got some talented receivers, neighbors, Thomas, other guys. I mean, what stands out about that group and what they can do? Um, I feel like they're a really, they're a really good group. I feel like they work well together. Um, they move around a lot. Um, they run good routes. They're very fast, kind of long guys. Um, know how to get open. Um, so, I feel like it's going to be a good challenge. I know you probably don't pay too much attention to individual awards and stuff like that, but you were named to the Jim Thorpe semifinalist uh, list this morning, 15 players in the country. You know, what does that mean for you and your progress as a player? Um, yeah, I wasn't really um, fully acknowledged of that. I had never heard of that, but I mean, it's a good, it's a good award for DB, so I'm glad to be nominated for it. Yeah. Uh, staying with the LSU receivers, it'll be the first time you'll be able to uh, face Aaron Anderson. So what do you remember about his time here at Alabama and uh, what, uh, is, what challenges does he bring to, uh, the, to the matchup? Um, I feel like he's a uh, smaller guy. So that means, of course, he's very fast, um, quick, short, kind of jittery guy. So um, by me already being here and um, facing him and challenging him, I kind of know like what he likes to do. But I'm pretty sure things have changed. He had kind of been going over a year or so. Pretty sure he's got better, and I um, feel like he's probably a better player now. Yeah, Tarion talked to us about how he kind of takes it personally and the challenge when teams try to throw at him. Usually it's not throwing at you. Just on the other side, do you feel challenged when teams are throwing at you, or you feel like maybe they've game planned to look your way more often? Um, I feel like every game um, I will be challenged, um, so I prepare for that moment. Uh, I feel like you never know when the ball is coming your way, so I have to always be ready. Uh, so I don't kind of look at it like they're going to go away from me or do this do this and do that through the third. I feel like the balls always have a chance to come my way. You never know when it's going to come my way. So I always try to make sure I'm on top and prepare for the moment. Just what kind of player is a guy like Kendrick Law? Like what, what kind of challenges does he present in practice? Um, I feel like um, Kendrick Law is a very hard worker. Um, he works very hard. He always going 100% no matter what's going on. So I know when guarding him, I know he's going to give his best. Um, I know if we're doing one-on-one -on -one drills and special teams, I know he's going to do his best to win. He's just a hard working guy, kind of guy I like to watch and kind of the guys I, I love to be on the team with. Kind of going back to Terion, do you feel like you guys have two lockdown cornerbacks, and how much does he make your job easier, or how much do you make each other's job easier, just with the way you guys have been playing? Um, I feel like me and Terion work work well work, work well together. Um, I feel like also Trey has came in and did his his well share of helping us also. So I feel like with us three being on the field, um, or with whoever's at corner at the moment, I feel like we always are good on the outside, and I feel like we do a good job of challenging the receivers to get open and um to do what they have to do for their quarterback. In the middle of Just how much do you think the crowd affected what Tennessee was trying to do a couple weeks ago, and what do you want to see from this crowd being the last SEC home game? I'm very glad you asked about the crowd. I'm very excited on how they um, was here um, against Tennessee. I feel like we need the same amount of energy, if not more, for this game. So we need the fans to be there. We're very excited to have the fans at our game, and we want to make the game as hard as we can and make it to our advantage that we have a crowd here to, that's on our side. On punt returns, what are the things that are going through your mind as the ball is through the air about, am I going to catch this ball, am I going to let it bounce, am I going to try to return it? Just what are the things that factor into your decision making? Um, it's a lot of different things, you know. Um, faced a lot of challenging kicks this year with whether it's been rugby or a guy holding the ball longer than usual. So the ball has been, you know, just kind of different. And it's kind of, it's kind of, um, I would say, pump a turn. You got to make sure that at the end of the play that we at least have the ball. Can't make sure that we, making sure that we don't have any unnecessary turnovers. So I, I would say uh, I've been working harder on just making sure I'm catching all the difficult, difficult balls, balls that are, even harder to catch or it can be risky catch, but just making sure that I, I'm um, doing that to make sure we save as much field position as possible. Right here, Kurt. Kool-Aid, you've uh, been around for a while now and seen all of the officiating crews in the SEC, and I'm not talking about good, bad, but I'm just talking about, do you ever notice if, uh, or does anybody ever tell you, watch out now because this guy's more likely to call such and such or you ever get anything like that? It's like a scouting report on officials. Um, no, I've never encountered a situation like that where someone has talked about um, the officiating crew, the what guys call what. So I mean, that's not to my knowledge. 
Kind of going back to the punt returns, Nick Saban expressed confidence. How how much does that help you having him, you know, step up for you and, and kind of express that confidence in, in you? Well, I mean, we talked about everything, and I'm pretty sure you always had confidence with me being back there. So, I mean, some I already knew. But him just saying it to the world, I would say, I mean, it means something. Hey, Kool-Aid, uh, year over year, how have you seen um, the change of Jermaine Burton? Um, and, and has he changed from last year to this year? Because clearly from what we're seeing, we're seeing like that dog mentality out there on the field. Has he changed? Did he have that last year? What's your take on that? Um, I feel like since day one, he's always been, he always had that dog in him. I feel like he works very hard, very well. I feel like he um, he go hard as at practice. He always want to win each rep, no matter what's going on. He want to win the rep. So that's just being a dog in general. I feel like he always been that way. Nothing has changed about the way he is.